Hello guys, welcome back to the fourth part. I think it's the fourth part or the third part. I'm not sure now. Now let's continue with this, with our project. So we had created a cylinder. Now we want to assign initial conditions and output requests. Now, as you know, uh, for any engineering practice, you need output requests. Output requests is where you, you assign what you want to measure displacement, torque, stress, whichever way you what you want to record or what you want to analyze. But now for the initial velocity, this is where you assign your motions, especially the rotational velocity, displacement, not displacement, sorry, and also the initial velocity, translation of velocity. Before we start, there's something I want us to do. Let us open. Remember we saved a session, so let's open a session. So we open, we save this session. So this is, I think now this will be part three of the video. I want us to open this session. It's in Hyperworks. Now let us open the session like that. And then we see there is one which I already, I had already done some few things. Now, you see now, if you open a session like this, as you can see, there is already, there is a graph here and so on and so forth. Now. If you open a session, regardless of whether you open it without these other graphs, even without opening anything else, the software itself will carry this, any markers, any variables. Remember the variable name. It will still be there even if you copy these files into another folder and you start doing it again. That's why I propose we open the model and we modify the model only. As of now, you see this already has everything. Everything here have changed. And you'll see all this will have changed after a few after we do now the actual the actual exercise for this tutorial now the next thing the most unfortunate thing you cannot delete this window if you want to delete this window you only want to remain with this one you cannot delete there is no option for deleting so the best thing for you is to swap them you can swap that and that like that and then we come here don't worry about this graph it's only up to one second that i had simulated for one second only for for my practice also now that's why I'm telling you when you open the session it it takes the original inputs that you had already put like we are going for five seconds but it's only for one second now if you are now to delete this you only want to remain with two now you come to this other window here and then you select the two like that just like that. that's how you remove a window it's not removed but it is still there though so we open a model then a model you can just come here just go back to where it is hyperwax cylinder only want the model the mdl file so we open that now you can see it's good i want to assign initial conditions to this now the next the first thing that we do is you come here you click you double click on the cylinder itself as you see once you click here the free body part in the project browser gets highlight, highlighted now you come here now you cannot change anything here but if you open the session whatever you had modified is still there but now if you want to start a new thing a new project or to just modify some parameters you have to come again you open the model not the session now you do this and then we change this we put 1500 like that rotational velocity we leave it as it is the other thing that we need to do is to input use body coordinates coordinate system so we click that now the point the point come here and then we click again we say that it's point two the one that we want to do and then the rest we let it remain as it is and now we come now to the output request come to the output request like that so if you left click it's not anything so it's just filter by so but once you right click right click this output request this is what this is for the output then you say okay you'll have something here now for this part for this part you have now to select displacement and here you change entity to entity like that and then for the body you click twice for the body you, you select free body part this part is the one that you use and now here you leave both Glo reference marker leave it at global frame now here for the markers here 
have the I marker and the J marker. So for I marker and J marker is used when you are, refer, you, you are referencing the displacement of a body, of one body with respect to the other. So the I marker is the first body, the J marker is the second body. But because you only have one body, we leave it like that. Now, after that, we come back here. So we've already done this, the output, the output request. Now we have put our markers. Now the next thing, use body coordinate system. We select this one as body two. And now initial conditions is okay. So CM coordinates is already there. Initial inertia, we don't need them. So here, here we have already put as it is. It's already good. And now for the output request, let's come and see if there is anything else. So we put entity bodies, free body part. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to check if we have our marker. Our marker is global frame. So we put also our marker. Now the next thing is we come here to run here. And then we are going to put one. We put one like that because we want it to go for one second only because there is something that I want us to, to check. Now we put this cylinder to, we can do like that so that it saves this as not it will not be doing it as previously on so now we we have to we can run this simulation so let us run it and then we close like that like that then now we click plot and then they we want to see now as you can see now we have this marker displacement because we've selected displacement so the y type is displacement now and then it's the free body part and then it's in the dz direction and then now we click apply you can see, unlike the other, unlike now the other graph, unlike the other graph, you can see that now we have this displacement. So that means this body is going up and then it goes down. Can we actually see that in a simulation? Yes, we can. So you just come here, click here, and now we come to animate. So now this is hyper, hyper view. This is for the hyper view. And now we double click this it becomes full screen it's not it's not getting to full screen you can just click it and expand from here now we want to see how it goes so what we do we zoom out like that and then we are going to zoom out still like that and now i want us to observe we reduce we reduce the frame speed the playback speed by this arrow now we play this you see it's going up, 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 like that, like that, like that, like that. And then now it will start falling down. Now it has started falling down. It's because when we were putting the initial condition, we put a positive value of the displacement. Now it goes up in the Z direction, and then now it goes down so you can try and increase the speed maybe let us see as you can see it goes up from rest goes down like that so if we reduce this you will see up down and so on and so forth from you remember it's starting from zero 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 so it's going up and then down so let's pause that let us come back to this and then i explain something so if we come to the project and then we click free body part, you'll see that the initial condition is in the positive direction. So 1500 going up. Now, what's the other thing that probably can do? We come to run here, we can open this. And then you can see the original, the original XML file. So I want to open this one. Uh, can I open this? Can I open this? No, 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 no. Let me do this. I, I think there is a way that I can open this one. Can add another table here. We have four tables. So let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, then it's still okay. So that is what we have. We don't have anything here. So here we put a graph 2D like that. Now we want to open come here and then we open the cylinder the original one open that come here we select body 
free body part z direction apply now as you can see now the difference in the two graphs you can see this one is just going all the way like that and now this one is going like that so you can even plot this here you can even come here and then you you apply this one there so that you can compare the two you can plot two graphs on the same we can plot two curves on the same graph area so we double click and now we see this is what is happening now with that that marks the end of this video see you next time yeah thank you